innovation wise the way philips has gone about getting us on board is very innovative because you're the first ones to use it and we take our television watching very seriously <laughs> No, we have to say, um, I do want to congratulate Philips. I think it's a wonderful TV. And thank you for giving us a chance to be the first ones to use it in the country. And we're very excited for all of you out there who haven't experienced it yet, because now you can buy these TVs and you can experience it for yourself. Thank you. Thank you, Soha. Thank you, Atul. Ranvijay, Nal, you have done a wonderful job. A question with all you, uh, with all you guys, so uh, Kunal, Ranvijay, and Atul. Uh, absolutely uh, nice presentation with the Philips. Quite enchanting AVs. Uh, Philips is known all over the world for its uh, innovations and designs. So my question to you guys is, uh, how innovative are you with your work, etc., with, with your job? Yeah, you take it. I don't know about Atul because <laughs> every day of his life is innovating. The kind of photographs that he takes. Uh, as, a, as an artist, you do it every day. You can't do the same photograph ever again, in a way. Yeah? But I think the nice thing is, like, no two days are alike in my job, which is, which is why I think there's a very high level of interest. Because even if you shoot somebody for the hundredth time, you can be sure it's a different experience. They're having a good day, they're having a bad day, whatever it is. So for me, uh, change is constant. Change is absolute. If you don't change, you perish. So if my portfolio looked like uh, it was all shot in the period of one week, then I wouldn't last very long. So to me, uh, that's uh, really, I, I, I want to say one thing that I didn't say is, you know, growing up, this was the one big foreign brand that existed in our country at that time, you know? So like, like, like for me, like growing up, Philips was always an aspirational brand in the country until of course the country opened and a whole lot of other brands came in. So I'm really happy, you know, to see uh, a brand I've, I've uh, like genuinely had respect for as a child, uh, you know, up there in the forefront of technology as it's always been. And I hope the spotlight is uh, on them because this is a magnificent product. So I hope that answers your question. Uh, like you said, uh, one of the biggest buyers in our family in 96 was a Philips powerhouse, the music system. It was the, yeah. Um, and in the army, because I mean, I've seen a lot, we, a lot of radios, all, most of them are Philips. Uh, apart from that, I think uh, innovation wise, the way Philips has gone about getting us on board is very innovative. Uh, because they, they didn't call us and say, hey, this is the TV, these are the features, blah, blah, blah. they just gave us the TV. They said, you experience it. And I think that, uh, kudos to the team who thought about it. Because uh, we didn't have to be briefed. What I liked about the TV, I told them, they said, okay, just say this. What he liked. So I think innovation is not just in the brand. It's also uh, kind of filtered down to the people who are working for the brand. For us as an actor or as a, as a host of any show, if I do the same thing, I wouldn't last for now 12 years. Like he said, if you do a portfolio that looks like you shot in a week. So... It's part of who we are, and especially being in a field that is creative, which is known for its uh, entertainment and uh, creativeness, so you have to do it on a day-to-day -day basis. Ambilight Soha. Uh, no, just to, I mean, you've said it all, just to answer the question, I think as an actor, uh, one constantly has to reinvent themselves according to the character that you're playing. So I find that my line of work is by nature innovative, um, and every time you, you sign on to a film, you have to slip into that character, you know, learn the various body language or accent or something. For example, I played a Sardarni earlier in the year. Uh, now I'm playing a psychiatrist. Um, so it's, it's interesting. I, I, that's what I love about it the most as well. Constant innovation. So Ali Khan, I'd like to ask you, what does TV as a medium mean, to you, mean for you? What, is what? what does TV as a medium mean for you? Oh my God, it's a, I'm very, passionate about television. I understand it to be a very important medium as uh, you know, you were asked here, I don't know how many because we were backstage, how many of us, how many of you put your hands up when they asked who doesn't have a TV. So I think everyone does have a TV, especially even if it's a developing country like India. Uh, it's not only a means of uh, getting information, um, it's also just a, a, a form of entertainment. And because we work in the entertainment industry, for me it's life. Um, the work that I do is showcased on television screens and I have to say that I'm friends with more TV characters than I am with real people. Um, 
So <laughs> I meant TV actors that I've never met as well through movies that I see and television shows that I watch that come from all over the world. Uh, those are the people that I interact with more than people that I interact with sometimes on a daily basis. So I mean, it's, it's a very important part of my life. Uh, hi, uh, this is Sohail. Uh, my question is to Kunal and Soha. We're talking about uh, smart TV, big screens. Uh, do you feel so like uh, watching movies has become uh, uh, very good on these screens? So piracy jo hoga film ka, that will be more encouraging, you feel? I think that's great that you said that. Uh, because if you have seen Pirated Prince recently, yeah. very bad. These are 1080p HD 4K televisions. If you put a pirated print on these, you'll not see anything. It'll just pixelate. So I think in a way it's great to fight piracy. Everybody should have a 4K or a 1080p television. And especially like this, because you cannot basically enjoy the sound or the picture. So I don't think uh, it has anything to do with piracy. Only if you buy genuine products, then you will enjoy it a lot more. So that's, that's all I can say. Now, one more thing, we are talking about the 3D television actually, but there are very few films which are being made in 3D in India. So what I have to say about this, how effective this uh, television set would be? Well, like I said, there is a lot of content online and th because this is a smart TV, you can go online to YouTube. YouTube has a dedicated channel for uh, 3D videos which you can watch. Uh, yes, there are a lot of films. I mean, in the West, there are a lot of films that get made in 3D. And then uh, it also uh, converts 2D into 3D. It may not be as amazing as a, three, uh, as a film that's shot on 3D, but you can uh, definitely enjoy and see the difference uh, when you convert normal 2D into uh, 3D. Uh, Kunal Soha here. Right here. Who has a greater control over remote at home? I will uh, show this to you. <laughs> 